I've been a critic of AI tools in the past, but I hear they work pretty well. Everyone seems to be telling me about it, so I decided that I was going to check it out. I've been using Jasper for just a couple hours. I also didn't look at any of the uh, videos or documentation. I barely know what I'm doing. I have played around with the content improver. I've played around with a paragraph generator. You can check out those other videos on the channel. And I went to play with the quote documents boss mode template. And this will help you write long form content start to finish. So we're going to get into it. I'm just going to follow along again. I can't emphasize enough that I have not gone through this before. So it could be a little clunky. We're going to do this in real time. And the focus of today is ladybugs because uh, I recently got some ladybugs to put out in the garden here to, um, you know, eat some aphids and some other pests out there. And you know what? Those are just cute little animals too. So we're in here in the template zone and we're going to get into it. And I do have the boss mode. I am using the free trial and you can actually join using the free trial as well. Uh, I'm an affiliate, so I get a commission if you do sign up, but you can get five days for free. You probably have to log in, put in some billing information, but if you do cancel before the five days are up, you should be good to go. Read the fine print and all that, but just want to let you know that you can check it out. Okay, so here we are, Jasper. We are going to create a new document. You can start from scratch or you can go to the blog post workflow. So we're going to do the blog post workflow. So describe the content that you want to create. So basically they, you know, they want to know what you're going to write. So I'll put um, all about ladybugs. Keywords. I'm not going to put anything in here. I mean, it's just ladybugs and Honestly, I'm not sure if that's one word or two. I did Google it a minute ago, so let's see. Okay, so they put it all in, in one word, so I'll buy that. I believe Google and, okay, so we will go from here. So we'll continue on, write the title or let Jasper generate ideas. Let's let Jasper generate some ideas. So ladybugs, the underrated insect, Fun facts and information. We'll, we'll do the un, un, underrated insect. We, we always like an underdog story. So we got an intro paragraph. Write your own or let Jasper help you generate ideas. Well, we're going to generate ideas. That's what we got this tool for. So ladybugs are a fascinating insect that is often underrated. They play an important role in the, our environment and they also are beautiful creatures. In this blog post, we will discuss all things about ladybugs, what they are, what they do and why they're important. We'll also explore some fun facts about these little creatures. We'll use this one. And one thing, as I'm reading it out, what I'm looking for is any just obvious errors, any major screw ups where I'm like, I know that's not true. I try to pick something fairly straightforward here and ladybugs are uh, well documented. They're, the scientific community has uncovered many things about the ladybug and I think they've been studied a lot. So I don't think there's going to be anything out of the ordinary here. So that's why I chose ladybugs. In other videos, I will pick things where uh, there could be some mistakes where maybe everyone doesn't agree on the facts. So in this one, it's straightforward. If you want to check out those other videos, be sure to uh, you know watch these, hit the thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. So we'll use this one, and it doesn't look like there's any grammatical errors or anything like that. So we'll keep moving forward. So the intro paragraph is good to go. The setup is complete. They, they're giving me the thumbs up and I'll give them one back and we'll open the editor here. Okay, so we have uh, ladybugs da, 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 da. and we have all about ladybugs is the content description slash brief. And then we have the tone of voice. So we'll call it, um, I do like the witty, we'll say witty and funny. Uh, no other keywords and we'll say uh, the output length, we'll leave it medium and then we will uh, click compose, I guess. All right. And then here it's writing in real time. So ladybugs are small, round, and often brightly colored. They have six legs and two wings. They can fly. 
Ladybugs are beneficial to our environment because they eat past the damaged crops. In fact, farmers often use ladybugs as a form of pest control. Ladybugs are important pollinators. And then we stop. So I guess they don't go too far. It just gives you a handful of, uh, you know, a number of characters. Now, one thing you may notice is some things are underlined in red, blue, and this is Grammarly. So I'm not going to mess with that yet. I'm just going to click Compose and keep moving forward here. Apparently there are over 5,000 species of ladybugs in the world. That seems like a lot. And I, I didn't realize that. The most common ladybug in North America is the seven-spotted ladybug. They can live up for two. They can live for up to two years, which is uh, seems amazing. Ladybugs are considered lucky in many cultures. In China, they're a symbol of good fortune. In Europe, it is said that if ladybug, a ladybug lands, and then uh, we need to get some more. So I'm sure this is, um, you know, a specific number of words. It looks like it goes to, um, you know, a handful of words and it keeps going. Okay, so ladybugs are fascinating and important insect that are that is often underrated we hope this blog post has taught you about these little creatures thanks for reading we hope it has taught you all about ladybugs oh no looks like it it doubled up here okay so we have about 218 words it tells me that up here and it's a fairly short uh blog post i, I would say um and i think we probably could add more and I, i'm not sure uh, what we would do exactly, I I think there are some things we can uh, basically ask uh, Jasper to do. But before we move on to that, we can use Grammarly and clean it up again a little bit. So ladybugs are fascinating insect. So maybe ladybugs are a fascinating insect that is often underrated. Now one thing that you may realize is we also say the same thing down here. Fascinating and important insect that is often underrated. So they're kind of like restating it as the conclusion. It's not necessarily redundant, but that's okay. Now, there's some clarity here. So um, Grammarly is saying we can rewrite it a little bit in a more clear way. So in this blog post, we will discuss all about ladybugs. Yeah, that's a little awkward. What they are, blah, 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 blah. So if we take the suggestion, let's see. This blog post will discuss all about ladybugs, what they are, and so on. And I think we can take out the about. This blog post will discuss all ladybugs. Maybe we could just take that out. And this is one of the things, right? So when I was a critic of the AI tools, I would say, ah, you know what? I thought you could just have it written and then go from there. But now we see there's some stylistic things that we could change, some grammar things, some phrasing that can be cleaner. And basically what it comes down to and what I learned from my friend Alex Cooper from WP Eagle, he says, you know, you can get some decent output, but you still have to go through and edit it. So assuming all this information is correct, editing it doesn't really take too long. Now, like I said, we're, I think we're at about 214 words, so this is pretty short. So I think in um, other videos, we may have the opportunity to add more detail, like um, maybe some information about predators of ladybugs or what they eat, right? So there's some very general facts here six legs, two wings, and they could fly, but there's a lot of information that we can add in here. Okay, so let's keep editing. We could take out, uh, in fact, farmers. So we could just say farmers often use ladybugs, so that's a little bit cleaner. And then in Europe, okay, so again, we can rewrite for clarity, and it'll say in Europe, it said that it is said that your wish will come true if a ladybug lands on you. That even rhymes. So that's fine. Okay. Again, we can rewrite for clarity. We hope this blog post has taught you about ladybugs, a fascinating and important insect, often underrated. And of course, we see it did write, thanks for reading, twice. I don't know if I hit the you know write more button at that point, but 
we have uh, what looks to be a 206 word uh, quote blog post and it's not quite as long as what I would have hoped so I think there are probably ways to um, you know ask it to write more maybe about specific topics but I'm not quite sure how to do that so I'm gonna pause just for a second I'm gonna come back see if I can figure that out and I will have to refer to documentation to see how to do that okay I'm back I didn't actually read documentation but I clicked on this thing right here which is called the power mode and I know the power mode here will allow us to write individual paragraphs so that could be helpful Additionally, I thought oh, maybe we can write an H2 heading like what is the life cycle of a lady bug. And then from here, maybe I'll pop down to the next line and I'll click uh, compose and see what happens. Hopefully it'll understand the ladybug life cycle. Okay. So we end up with a paragraph here so that's pretty good uh, it talks about the larva they turn into pupa the pupa turn into lady adult ladybugs and the life cycle begins again a ladybug can be can live up for up to two years and then i think that they were going to say thanks for reading again they're really uh they're really polite and they want to thank you for reading but you don't need to do that if you're writing content. You don't need to thank the reader for reading your content. That would be really boring. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, see what happens if we were to just put it in here. What is the life cycle of a ladybug? What is in the what is the paragraph uh, about in the paragraph generator? We'll uh, keep it witty, and then we'll say generate AI content. We'll see if it comes up with something different. And what it just did in the compose window and if it does that could be good okay so most people from that uh, most people are familiar with ladybugs um, so it's kind of an intro they go into kind of the same idea just rephrased what we talked about so the one thing with this you know paragraph generator is they also define what a ladybug is but we don't need that level of detail so we can really just skip skip part of it and then just take a certain piece of it so for example the ladybug life cycle begins blah 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 and then we can go from there so I think we can copy that and then we could replace it here I believe I could just I think I could paste that in there, probably. How do we paste that? Can I just say paste? Okay, so there we go. We got a little bit more here. And I think, you know, for this specific case, what I'll do, I'll, I'll take it back from the power mode and go back to the focus mode. And I'll, you know, basically put in the subheadings that I want here. So what are relatives of the ladybug and then we'll say compose and see what it comes up with so it's a member of the beetle family there are some relatives the closest relatives are other beetles like the firefly and lightning bug which i think those are the same thing aren't they i don't know ladybugs are also related to ants bees and wasps all of the insects share common features such as six legs and two wings. However, ladybugs are distinguished from other insects by their small round bodies, and their brightly colored shells. And ladybugs are also known for their ability to eat pests, which makes them beneficial to farmers and gardeners. So since we did cover the, uh, you know, some of the food aspect before, did we cover that? Well, maybe we can't. What do ladybugs eat? Ladybugs are predators and they feed on da 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 da. Actually, this makes a perfect uh, segue. So we can actually format this in a, as an H3 subheading and then keep it going here. So perfect. And they're continuing on. They're, they've picked up what is the difference between a ladybug and a firefly. So now Jasper has actually figured out that I was asking questions and they're 
they're going along with it, which is great. So as it's writing more, it's talking about what they eat again. We may end up with some redundancy since we just talked about food up above, but that is okay. So again, we're just going to change this to an H3 subheading. What are some fun facts about ladybugs? I think we might be grasping at straws now, but let's go with this and see what they say. Okay, so it's some things that we've already mentioned before, and uh, let's just keep it going and see what happens. So, <laughs> all right. So we've gone in a loop here. They're continuing. <laughs> Jasper is so polite, it won't stop thanking the reader for reading, and you don't need to do that. I can't emphasize that enough. And then we circled back to what do ladybugs eat? So I think if you, you know, you went a little deeper, you, you can, um, you know, maybe figure out other subheadings. And I'm just going to add one more and um, see if Jasper can figure anything out. So um, do lady bugs have any predators is that how you spell it predators i guess we'll find out i can't spell very well so hopefully jasper <laughs> jasper knows okay ladybugs have predators the larvae are eaten by birds reptiles and amphibians adult ladybugs can be eaten such uh, by animals like bats and spiders However, ladybugs are not usually the prey of choice because they are small and not very nutritious, but they do have natural predators. Cool. And then uh, we've gone you know, on and we found another one, the difference between ladybugs and beetles. Okay, cool. So I think at this point we have 785 words, which we see up here in the top right. So that's pretty good. We have gone through with Grammarly. Most of it looks pretty good. We can uh, improve it a little bit, improve the wording. So instead of during which time, we could just say, you know, when they mate and lay eggs. And that maybe is a little bit more clear. Some of this is a stylistic choice. And you, we can just simplify things a little bit. Um, I didn't put question marks here, so that would actually fit better to have question marks for all of these. And overall, I have to say, did we spell, I didn't spell predators right. It's so embarrassing when you do that, uh, but I can't re-record, you know, There's just no way to do it. So we did miss the question mark here, but overall, here's the deal. Um, we ended up with a relatively thorough article. It is pretty accurate. I don't know a ton about ladybugs, but everything seems to add up. I didn't double check to see if there are 5,000 species, but that seems like, you know, uh, okay thing. One thing we can do, you know, with the boss mode, you can, um, you know, fix the grammar using Grammarly. You can um, also go over here and do the plagiarism checker. So I'm going to click this and see what happens. So apparently I can't use it because uh, I don't have a balance in there and apparently I don't have enough credits. Thing is, I'm on the free trial and uh, I will be paying because I'm going to be doing a lot of testing with this tool, Jasper AI. And if you want to check out the free trial also, you can follow the link in the description here. I'm an affiliate, so I get a commission if you do sign up. And I will have a uh, kind of a repository and uh, it's basically a free course area. And all you have to do is, um, you know, Follow the link in the description here and sign up and you'll be able to check out the details. If you are signing up on the early side, like when this video is released, there might not be much there. I am actually learning about Jasper as we go and many of the other tools. So I'm gonna put uh, probably longer videos and some of the workflows and some other details that I won't publish on YouTube. So if you do wanna check that out, you can sign up by following the link in the description. If you don't want to do that, that's cool. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube. You can subscribe and make sure you see those when they come out. My name is Doug Cunnington. I blog over at Niche Site Project. And I have a podcast called The Doug Show. and talk about affiliate marketing and SEO. And I cover a lot of success stories. So you can check that out. There's a link in the description as well.